Welcome to the ABCs of Home Improvement on WRCR. This is your weekly radio encyclopedia for all your home improvement projects. Featuring Laborio Dorario, your friendly neighborhood architect, Mike Ash, Bill Barsho, and the cool tool girl, Elizabeth Bushy. They're ready to take your calls and answer questions about your home improvement projects. Call now, 845-362-0013. Oh, good morning, folks out there in Radio Land. Laborio Dorario, your friendly neighborhood architect, with uh, Billy B from Chill Out Insulators. Uh, we welcome you to our Memorial Day show. I hope you folks are in listening to the radio because once you go outside, you're never coming back. It's a beautiful, stellar day out there. Uh, today we have a couple of guests in our studio. Before we uh, bring them on, I want to say hello to our friends at Torn Valley Vineyards. Once again, a beautiful weekend to go up to the vineyard and uh, enjoy the weather, enjoy the food, enjoy the wine, and enjoy the people and the, and, and the atmosphere up there at Torn Valley Vineyards. One of the historic uh, vineyards out there that's uh, the only working vineyard in Rockland. And once again... The folks up there, our friends at Torn Valley Vineyards, have given us the Torn Valley Vineyard Sweet Summertime Blended White Table Wine. So um, right after we come off our break now, okay, so we're going to force you to listen to one round. If the first caller in that says, I love the ABCs of Home Improvements, they will be getting the bottle of wine with their 21-year-old proof. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, what we have here for uh, our Memorial Day show. We have Ralph Spano from Sunshine Plumbing and Heating and Anthony Donatio from uh, Donatio Electric. Uh, they're going to be speaking about uh, a little about themselves and a little bit about what they do. Uh, but before we get to that, we're going to do the questions of the week. And uh, they pertain to electricity and plumbing this week and a little bit of clothing. So uh, we'd like to know. Uh, what community was named after a piece of clothing? That's question number one. And if you answer that question, today we from the Magic Hat, we have an iPhone 6 Plus Genuine Alligator Leather Case. We also have a digital camera here uh, for one of the questions that are answered. And we have the book from our solar guest last week, David March, Visions in Action. So we have three great prizes to give away. Second question uh, having to do with which was the number one sewer district? The first sewer district in the United States. Oh, what was that? We have the tool of the week going again. Um, and then our third question is, uh, where was the first electrical system in the United States? Okay, and if you can get us some locations and some years, uh, maybe we'll give out a bonus prize. So those are our questions. Put down your cup of coffee. Get your pencils out. Give us a call, 8362-0013. For all your home improvement questions. Uh, good morning, Ralph. Good morning, Anthony. Why don't you guys say hello? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, so uh, why don't we uh, start with Ralph. Ralph Spano is from Sunshine Plumbing and Heating. Uh, these folks uh, I've known for numerous years through an organization called BNI. It's a professional networking organization. Outstanding workmanship, outstanding pride in their work, outstanding people. So, um, Ralph, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company and, and so on? Okay, well, thank you, Lee, for inviting me here this morning to uh, speak to this lovely audience. And you're right, it is a beautiful day outside. I started as a plumber as a very young boy, uh, 13, 14 years old. My father owned apartment buildings, and my job was to uh, let the plumbers and the carpenters and the painters and the electricians in to paint the apartments to work on, uh, on the tenants' apartments. And one day, the uh, plumber's apprentice was sick. And my father said, go work with Rudy. Be Rudy's helper for the day. And I found it fascinating and exciting. And uh, I decided right then and there that I wanted to be a, a plumber. Wow. Now, uh, how did you get introduced to Rudy through your dad? Yep, Rudy and was What was old- the story behind that, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> or you, maybe you don't want to share that. Rudy was an old timer. And he worked for my father for many years. And uh, as I said, his helper was sick one day. And he said, uh, Mike, I'm not working today. I have nobody to carry my tools. And my father said, what are you talking about? I got your promise to Mrs. Smith, and Mr. Jones is home waiting for you. Well, I'm not working. I I can't carry my tools. Take my son, Ralph. My son, Ralph, carry Rudy's tools. I said, okay, Dad. So at the end of the day, I I carried Rudy's tools all day. And at the end of the day, we're in a car, and my dad says to me, uh, so, Ralph, oh, before I'm back up, Rudy said to me at the end of the day, uh, hey, kid, uh, you're not bad. Uh, How much does your father pay you? (laughs) I said, well, my father pays me $20 a week. He says, uh, why don't you come work for me? I'll give you 25 bucks a week. I said, I don't know. i got to ask my father. So we're in a car going home that night. And I said, and my father says to me, so, son, how was your day? 
I said, oh, Dad, you'll never guess what happened. So he said, tell me. So I said, uh, uh, I told him our conversation. And he said, uh, so Rudy wants to give you five bucks more a week than me, huh? He's, I says, yeah. He says, well, you know what? Go work for Rudy. You're not worth the five bucks. <laughs> that was his way of giving me a, uh, an education and learning a trade. That's something else, Ralph. That's outstanding. We have Elizabeth Bushy, our cool tool girl, calling in from the West Coast. Good morning, Elizabeth. How are you? Good morning. I'm very happy to finally be here. I'm not sure what, what happened. I changed the battery in my laptop yesterday. Well, actually, two days ago. It's fully charged now, and I, I had trouble getting through. I panicked. I did something wrong, but I guess I didn't. Wow, that's unbelievable. We have two guests today besides myself and Billy. Mike is up with his grandkids in Cicero upstate. We have Ralph Spano from Sunshine Plumbing and Heating, and we have Anthony Donatio from Donatio Electric. Uh, why don't you guys uh, give your phone numbers out right now the, quickly to the folks? Ralph first, then Anthony. For you folks that might have any sort of projects in your houses, I'd like to give you their information real quick so you guys can write it down. Go ahead. Okay, well, I'm Ralph Spano, and my company's name is Sunshine Plumbing and Heating. Uh, and our phone number is 845-548-3054. 845-548-3054. We're licensed in Rockland and New Jersey. Great. Anthony, why don't you give us a little bit of your information and tell us a little bit about how you got started in the electrical business. I'm Anthony Denadio with A. Denadio Electric. Um, we're licensed and insured in Rockland, Westchester, Connecticut, New Jersey. I started this uh, in this business working for my father as well. You know, I used to go with him as you know when I was a kid during uh, vacations in the summer and you know weekends and stuff. You know, getting materials from the truck, getting yelled at, and um, <laughs> that's what it's like working for your parents. Um, so yeah, so I started when I was uh, probably like ten going with him, and uh, you know, but really since since out of high school, I've been doing elect electrical work since 1990. Um, I started my business in 2002. And um, it's been uphill from there. Uphill. It's very nice. I like that, Anthony. That's good. Yeah. Uh, both of these gentlemen have done work in my own personal residence, so I recommend them highly, as well as other projects that we've done throughout the years. Um, Anthony, why don't you tell them a little secret tip about the booties that you guys wear around the house uh, to make sure that you don't mess up their carpets while you're working? Well, there's no secret to it. We just put them on our feet, and uh, people are happy we don't get their floors ruined. Smart. I, I, I don't believe it. You said one of you is a plumber. See that? See that? Well, Anthony, <laughs> that's it. There you go. Nice, Elizabeth. <laughs> you see, I, my uh, my so-called training is in carpentry, so I'm not supposed to like a plumber. Well, we love carpenters. <laughs> yeah, plumbers do love carpenters because you make us a lot of work. <laughs> I was underneath my sink a couple of months ago wondering what is wrong with plumbers that they put stuff in in such awkward places did they think that stuff never ever has to be fixed i, I was i just didn't understand it but maybe that's just california <laughs> wow that's not bad elizabeth listen you know last week we had uh, two calls in one from a direct listener and one from a referral who was uh, referred from a listener to us um and the first appointment was for a master bedroom suite conversion over a two-car garage the second was a 78 year old woman named florence living by herself she heard about our show and uh, she tuned us in and she heard about our cleanup that we're doing here in may for storms and screen windows and uh, she she told me she couldn't she was looking for somebody to come out and help her change her one storm window to a screen where she sits with her chair with her little AM radio and listens to the shows on this WRCR station. Oh, that's adorable. So, um, so of course, you know, the friendly neighborhood architect uh, went out there and um, helped out uh, with the one window and the screen. And um, I asked her why she wanted that, and she says, well, I overlook my garden, and the squirrels come into my garden, and I like to feed them from the window. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, Oh, my gosh. So, so needless to say, um, the neighbor who used to help her moved to Florida, and so she was in a little pickle there. And I spent about 15 minutes over a nice glass of orange juice talking about her family. Uh, and it was a great experience. Uh, I used to do Meals on Wheels, so uh, that type of thing was not um, out of the ordinary for me as far as spending a little extra time there. And um, we just want to say hello to Florence. She's probably sitting there. It's a little chilly. I don't know if she'll have the window open today, but um, I hope you uh, speak to your friends in the neighborhood there and let them know about the uh, ABC's of Home Improvement. You Hi, Florence. You should have a glass of 
Torn Valley wine with you, Lee. Yes, I know. Juice. In the old days, my, my grandmother, who was in her late 80s, we used to have a little sip of scotch while we talked about the family. <laughs> so um, it sort of bra- brought back a lot of memories, a lot of memories. You really are the friendly neighborhood architect. You really, really are. Thanks, Elizabeth. Listen, we're going to go out on a quick break here. Uh, get your pens out. Give us a call, 362-0013. Ralph Spano from Sunshine Plumbing and Heating and Anthony Donadio from Donadio Electric. We're looking forward to hearing from you folks with some of your electrical and plumbing uh, questions. Thanks. Welcome back, folks, to the ABC's of Home Improvement, your encyclopedia of home improvement knowledge here with uh, Bill Barshow from Chill Out uh, Contractors with Ralph Spano, Sunshine Plumbing and Heating, and, of course, Anthony Donadio from Donadio Electric. Uh, for you folks that didn't catch the front end of the show, the questions of the week are, of course, pertaining to plumbing and electric. Number one, uh, where was the uh, what uh, community was named after a piece of clothing? Number two, where was the first sewer district? Number one in the United States, and number three, where was the first electrical system uh, created in the United States? And for that, we have a couple of giveaways. So give us a call at three six two zero zero one three. Uh, we also, if you call up now and you say, I love the ABCs of Home Improvement, you can get your bottle of wine from the Torn Valley Vineyards for the only working uh, vineyard in the Rockland County. And probably no, close I'm to the Torn. You okay. didn't introduce me. Oh, and Elizabeth Bushy. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. <laughs> yes. Okay, very nice. Uh, Elizabeth Bushy, the cool tool girl who will be doing our cool tool segment. So not in the studio, but out in the West Coast. So that's uh, again, we need we need a cutout of you, Elizabeth, here to keep reminding us that you're on the phone lines with us all the time I and know, doing I a great job out there. Uh, we have Mike Ash also on line one here, so we just want to say hello. Hey, Mike. Good morning. I love the ABCs of home improvement. That's nice. You don't count. We have another ten calls coming in, so we're gonna have to bump you there, Mikey. Why don't you say 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 a quick hello to the folks out there? Is Mike? Ash from Kitchen Cabinets, Mike Ash, Kitchen Cabinets, Hi, and more. Mike. Good morning, everybody. How is the world treating it? Is it as beautiful up here as it is by you? I don't know. How do you do it, Mike? How do you do it, Mike? <laughs> I keep myself going. I keep moving those mileage, and I keep putting more miles on my car every time. Unbelievable. Isn't it fantastic? I can't believe it. So, Mikey, we have a couple of guests in our studio. We're going to put them on oh. the line here. So, uh, we have Ralph Spano from Sunshine Plumbing and Heating. We have another call, Neil? Okay, hold on. We have one more caller. BC's of Home Improvement. Oh, how are you? Who is this and where are you calling from? Uh, this is someone who's had the pleasure of uh, having several of you guys work for me. Oh, that's nice. Uh, this is uh, Kevin Haggerty. Hey, what's up, Doc? Okay. Uh, well, very nice. So you get the bottle of wine. You, you, you. Uh, that chill out and arc of future. And uh, Mike Ash with his kitchen did me up solid a few years back. And uh, you guys are wonderful. Wow, that's unbelievable. Thanks for the call. You know, I can't believe you're listening. Biz- Go ahead, Mike. Still in biz- we're still in business. You understand that? We're looking for new people just as good as you are, too. <laughs> hey, you know what? They are you great. Know, I, Aren't they great? Hopefully, uh, you know, this little shout out there will get you some more people. Yeah, that's nice. I appreciate that, Mr. Haggerty. That's fantastic. Well, you know, the uh, bottle of wine is here, but I'll probably bring it to, uh, bring it to you personally. I'll make a personal delivery since you hey, called that in. Would be wonderful. All right. I just I have to see wonderful. your ID though. Are you 21? That's the question. Are you 21? Uh, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> you know, and, and you know, what? This, this show is great too, guys. I tell you, I really like listening to it. Thanks. I appreciate the um, I appreciate the comments. I mean, and go to our website. You can see the reruns on the videos there too. We have our videos up of all the shows. That is awesome. I have not had the pleasure of working with uh, the young lady from California, but I'm sure she's great as well. So. Elizabeth Bushy, the cool you tool are very girl. Kind. Thank I, you. I gotta lo- you got to love that name, the cool tool girl. That is great. You got to visit my blog. It's cooltoolgirl.com. Well, no I'll have to check it out. Cool tool girl. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, Doc. All so right, uh, we'll hey, see you I'll later this know, afternoon. Uh, I don't know the answer to any of those questions. Though. What were those questions? Well, I can't, I, I can't repeat them now because we've got another oh, okay. couple of guys on the line here. So we're going to let them on. And, uh, but right. thanks yeah, for the well, call. Uh, let them know. And I'll keep listening and see if I can hear the answers. Thanks. Sounds good. All right. All right. Thanks care. for the call. Bye-bye. Okay. We have another caller. We're good? Okay, great. Um, okay, so uh, just so we can uh, bring you up to speed with the uh, motivational quote of the week, we like to do that as well. Um, and in the studio, we don't need this, but um, when you see a person without a, without a smile, 
Give them one of yours. Zig Ziglar. That's a nice one. Put that on your refrigerator this week and uh, keep smiling and keep everyone else smiling. Okay, we're back over to Ralph Spano. Ralph, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you get your business and a little bit about your company? Okay, I, uh, I named my business Sunshine because when a person has a, a plumbing problem, they're so stressful and they're upset and it's very hard to cope with. But when you say the word sunshine, it automatically puts a smile on somebody's face. That is a good name for a plumbing business, I got to say, because I am not full of sunshine when I have a plumbing problem. I know, but when you say that magic word sunshine, it automatically brightens up uh, a, a sour face. So, and that's how, and that's how I name my business. And I get m- most of my work. I started out by word of mouth because I've, I've been a licensed plumber for almost forty years. And uh, I always had a small side business. And in the year 2010, I decided to uh, go full-time. And uh, it's, it's been moving constantly in a forward motion. And I started out word of mouth because money was an issue. I didn't have a lot of money for advertising. But as my business rolled along, I was able to accumulate some money. And uh, I started spending on advertising and word of mouth, referrals. I joined this group, uh, B&I. And uh, my business blossomed tremendously. Excellent. Anthony, how about you? Why don't you tell us a little bit? And Ralph, why don't you throw your number out there again? Yeah, my phone number, my phone number is 845-548-3054. 845-548-3054. Sunshine, plumbing, and heating. Unbelievable. Okay, Anthony, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I started my business in uh, 2002. And um, I was sitting in the Verizon Yellow Pages office figuring out uh, what I was going to do with an ad and instead of Donatio Electric I said a Donatio Electric because it put me number one in the phone book so <laughs> that was very smart a Donatio Electric um, and I couldn't afford a big ad so I put I had an in column ad you know a small two by two ad and in color and stuff but it was uh, a lot less expensive than getting a business card size on a in the Verizon book and, back then. And how did that work, Anthony? It probably worked very well. Uh, it worked good. Yeah. It worked very good, yeah. I was surprised. Why don't you give the folks your information so they know uh, how to get a get hold of you? Yeah, my uh, name of the company is A. Donatio Electric. Uh, website is going to be up uh, shortly, adonatioelectric.com. And um, my phone number is 845-589-0019. That's 845-589-0019. That's excellent. And why don't uh, you tell us a little bit about the types of projects you do, Anthony, from the smallest to the biggest? Well, we do minor repairs to major renovations, um, some new construction, but it's mostly uh, renovation work, um, working in old houses, uh, like in Westchester, there's a lot of old homes with different types of construction, balloon construction, wire lath and plaster, wood lath and plaster, so... It's not just uh, sheetrock. It's a little more difficult to get around the house with the wires, but we do it. Excellent. And what about the small things? If somebody just needs a, a light fixture changed or you know, 10 or 12 outlets switched out for some new decor, a new... Uh, new right. Look back and tell what if Florence needs something for the squirrels. Yeah, there you go. Right. She might need a floodlight to see the squirrels at night. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like the way Billy thinks because I got a neighbor with a pet squirrel that I could use a BB gun at. Oh, see that? <laughs> Maybe we're going to send Billy life. out there. We're gonna, we might send Billy out on a road trip. We could also you know, put if a, Billy uh, ever comes out here, well, I'm going to show him a good time. Oh, oh, oh that's it. Sounds he might good. make the trip. That's it. Go ahead, Ralph. You were going to add something. I was going to say, you know, if we're going to put lights out for squirrels, we can put a nice little drinking fountain or a little, a little bird bath, <laughs> a little bubble bath for squirrels. <laughs> bubble bath. Bubble bath. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ralph specializes in those fountains in the front yards of all of the, you know, the folks that like those types of things in their front yard year-round. Oh, I love year- that, but we got a drought going on here, so I, I, I got a next-door neighbor has a cement mixture. First thing I thought, ah, oh, bird bath, and... <laughs> My daughter says, ah, drought. Yeah, no, no bird bath for me. Excellent. You know, just beyond all the green grass we have in this part of the world. Hey, 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 Mike, listen, you know, we uh, got a couple of calls in last week about our uh, new segment that we put up there, the Projects of the Week. 
and yep. we're four weeks deep now. We only have a week left in May, and we've gone through a lot of different things. You've done your power washing. You've cleaned out well, one of your two-car yeah. garages to make room for one car. You uh, cleaned your gutters and leaders. And one of my friends called me up, and he, he did all of those things. I can't believe it. He said, you know, I can't believe you put that on the show. He's like, you reminded me. He's like, I never, I forgot that I even had to do that kind of stuff. So, um, and you put your mulch well, down. You put your flowers up, in. Cleaned up, too. Right. So now the, this week, you know what we do this week for week four, Mike? You change your batteries doing? and you smoke detectors. All right. No, we did that when they, we changed the time. Did we, we did. That? Yeah. This week we're this week we're going to take off. This week, week four, we're giving you week four off since we have five weeks, and we want you no, to hang I, around I with your friends. Have a good idea. Wait no, a minute. No, we no. want you to hang around with your friends. Go to a pool party, <laughs> barbecue a little there bit, drink go. some beer, and look at all the work you've accomplished in these small little steps over the last four weeks. And look at how beautiful your house looks if you didn't do it. What we do have a yeah. and the pool's ninety eight. We have a caller on line one. Go ahead. Hello, caller. How are you? Hi, this is Lori Miller. How are you? Good, Lori. How are you? Good. I have a question for Ralph. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Lori. Uh, uh, hi. I have an older house, and um, the plumbing is on the older side, and I have great water pressure at one side of my house, but the other side of the house, the water pressure, especially in the master bathroom, could be a little better. Is there anything I can do about that? Great question. Yeah, sure. that's, a, that's a very common problem in a lot of older homes. Uh, throughout you have to basically look at the plumbing and see what kind of material your water pipe is made of um, years ago they used to use galvanized pipe and unfortunately mm-hmm. over the years through oxidation minerals the galvanized pipe slowly closes up and so what we do is we cut sections of it out and it gets replaced and we use uh, copper tubing or lately in the last few years they use what's called PEX tubing I press you don't use PEX uh, my preference is copper. It's a little more expensive, but I'm a little old school, and uh, I, I think it lo- it's a better better looking job. No vibration, and uh, it'll increase your water pressure uh, to 100% max. Great. Thank you very much. You're so Excellent. very well. Hey, Lori, listen, before you go, um, do you have an iPhone 4 or 4S? I do. We have white alligator cases here. All you have to do is say, I love the ABCs of Home Improvement, and um, you can come to the station and pick one up if you'd like. Okay, I love the ABCs. Of oh, Home right, Lori. Okay, so good. That's excellent. We're going to put one on the side here for you. Um, unfortunately, the bottle of wine is gone, but we'll put one of those aside, and it'll have your name on it. You come by the station over here at uh, Pomona Park and uh, Providence Park and pick it up anytime Monday through Friday. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for calling. Excellent. Bye. Good luck, Lori. Ralph, I have a question about galvanized pipes. Go sure. ahead. Because the plumbers, a lot of the plumbers that I've talked to, because I have an old house in New York, um, but I don't live in it right now. Uh, it's sort of like when people get clogged arteries, right? They're, they get old, they get clogged, and they need to be fixed. Does that sort of sum it up? Yes, it's, uh, it, it sort of sums it up. You can cut sections of an artery out um, through a vascular surgeon, and he puts back uh, a, a section of artery that uh, is clear. And a plumber, but I guess, uh, kind of does the same thing. He'll cut a section of your plumbing out and replace except it. Except not all plumbers. A lot of plumbers will say, you need all new pipes. Well, it sounds we, like you're all we don't work with those type of plumbers, to, right, Ralph? We try to, we try <laughs> That's to, what I'm thinking. We try, <laughs> to spend, we try to spend your money as if it was my money, and uh, my money is very Yeah, I, that, sounds, that, that sounds like you're vaulted above most plumbers, which is... Sounds like why you're on the ABCs of Home Improvement. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. There you go, Elizabeth. So congratulations. Thank yeah, you. thanks. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we're going to go out on a quick break here. Give us a call with your questions, 362-0013. The best show ever, the ABCs of Home Improvement, for my good friend Sid out there. Welcome back, folks, to the ABC's A Home Improvement. Uh, I'd like to say hello to our friends again at Torn Valley Vineyards. A spectacular day to go up to the vineyard and enjoy some great food, great wine, great people. The France Brothers are running some operation up there uh, in the historic Torn Brook Valley. The magic of the Torn Brook is uh, there for you to enjoy. And um, their wine seems to be one of the hottest items. We've got people calling every week uh, for the wine. So uh, you guys do a great job up there. Um, and we appreciate the support. Um, and any, remember, keep them in mind for any of your specialty events and any type of uh, things you'd like to do. Give them a call up there. They do a great job on any sort of um, types of uh, events, I guess. It's absolutely you would say. beautiful yeah. up there uh, at the Torn Valley Wine Vineyard. They, uh, well, it's always 
69 degrees. 69 degrees at the vineyard. It's unbelievable up there. Year round. Year round. That's right. They have their heaters out there and other things that keep it at 69. Right. And here at the station, Kerry keeps it room temperature. Room temperature, yeah. We were sweating bullets. If you were here in your bathing suit last week, you would have been sweating bullets. Believe me, it was phenomenal. So, um, okay, listen, you know, uh, we gave you the motivational quote of the week. We also uh, here would like to, the ABC's a home improvement, give you a little other kind of knowledge. We have a green tip of the week, and again, the green tip of the week. Green tip of the week. What does green building mean? Green building means designing or constructing in a technique that saves energy, water, improves health, air quality, and includes products that are beneficial for the environment and reduce waste and carbon footprint, Bill. Well, it's about what our guests are here. These quality guys, these guys are great, Ralph and Anthony, and uh, it's what they're about. It is what they're about. Water and energy and... Absolutely. They are green builders. They are green uh, people in the profession. That's why we like working with them. Our tip of the week uh, for you guys out there, all you uh, weekend warriors that have all your tools plugged in constantly on lithium batteries... um, Unplug your tools, okay? Save yourself some money. Those lithium batteries can hold a charge for five to six months. They lose only two or three percent a month. They'll be ready and, and at hand when you need them. If you keep those chargers plugged in, boy, you're burning up some juice there, and there's no reason to do that. There's little lights and LEDs on these things, on the batteries, on the machinery. Um, and that little tip there alone can save you money and reduce your carbon footprint. How's that, Bill? I don't know. Don't those rechargers, uh, let's ask Anthony, uh, don't they, once the battery's charged, go into an energy-saving mode? There we go. Anthony, what do you think? I didn't design them, but uh, <laughs> you're going to have to call We, we put you right on the spot yeah. there. Oh, but, uh, man. Yeah, folks, go to the video on that next week and take a look at Anthony's face when we ask that question. You'll have a, you'll have a good laugh on that one. See, we're, sunshine's bringing the smiles. We're keeping the smiles going. It's unbelievable. That was a good one. <laughs> well, now you can do your own little part for keeping America green. You can say you're, you're decreasing the carbon footprint. How's that? <clears throat> Uh, let's get back to Ralph and Anthony. Uh, so, Ralph, what uh, types of residential projects do you do, and what type of projects uh, do you do beyond the residential projects? Well, we uh, do anything. Uh, we do a lot of, of renovation of uh, new kitchens, new baths. We also do emergency generators, backup generators for brownout areas where um, uh, you're, we're constantly losing power. That, Ralph, that sounds like you and Anthony tag team on that one. Is that correct? That, that's true. It's a combination. It's a combination crew. A uh, part of it, uh, the, the plumber does. Uh, we run a natural gas line from your gas meter, and connect it uh, directly to the generator. And the electrician, uh, Anthony, will come in, and he wires from the generator to an ATF, which is an automatic transfer switch, um, and it gets wired directly into the panel. Uh, and if you, when you lose power, the automatic transfer switch will automatically transfer so you get a very minimal uh, interruption of service it's great for people who have um, uh, offices in their homes or if they have a medical condition we need uh, 24 hour day seven day a week uh, uh, electric Ralph here's that a question for you. Uh, Elizabeth you had something go ahead I just said that is brilliant that is really brilliant nice well, we uh, yeah, especially yeah. where I live, a lot of people want to get off grid. A lot of people right. have. Well, mm-hmm. I live in Erin Brockovich territory. Nice. Remember where the, the evil corporation she fought? Yes, that was PG&E, yeah. and that's like my O and R. Uh huh. So a lot of people are looking to do exactly what you're describing. Well, maybe we you should come out to California. Hot properties out here, you really would. <laughs> you really would. You'd probably make your million to be able to retire in a couple of months. Well, that's something to consider. <laughs> Listen, we have a caller on line. We have a caller on line one, Elizabeth. Let's see what they have to say. Good afternoon, caller. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? And what's your question? Up in Rockland, I was just wondering. Could you tell me? Do you have a charge if somebody comes out to give you an estimate on something? Uh, no, we do not. I don't think Ralph. Do you charge no, for estimates? Free, free estimates. Bill, do you charge for estimates? Negative. Anthony, no. Mike, I try not to. Oh, wait a minute. What's that mean now? Hold on. So you, so you have four out of five. We will not charge. Mike might no, ask we you. We don't charge. We don't charge. The first go round is always nothing business. nothing to read Something my blog, and, and I know all these guys. So, so what, type of, what type of question or project are you looking to review? That's all. Why don't you give us a little hint? Looking for a general contractor. Oh, okay, so that's Bill. But You want to ask Bill a question while you have him on the line here? 
No, not right now. I just want yeah. to get the name of somebody. Yeah, so that you, we have Bill uh, from Chill Out, and uh, he can definitely, uh, you know, his number is 283-6763. You can also go to the ABCs of Home Improvement website. Uh, ABCs of home improvement dot com and you'll see our list of preferred contractors there. So for any type of job that you or any of the folks listening out there uh, are looking for, we have a list of A one contractors that we all use. We have a network of people and uh, you'll only see five star ratings for everybody that we recommend. So um, you want to take a chance at answering any of the questions for or do you have an iPhone four that you may want a free case for? have a flip phone. <laughs> uh, a flip phone. <laughs> Boy, yeah, I, I got rid of all those cases back in the 80s, so... Uh. <laughs> what was that? ABC, uh, ABC what? The ABCs of Home Improvement dot com. Dot com. All, all together, yep, dot com. Um, thanks. Okay, and thanks for the call, and good luck, and, uh, you know, if we can help you out, feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Bye. Okay, that there was great. Go. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, um, Billy, uh, you got some work coming in. Yeah, that's it. Billy's got something pretty going. Pretty much everybody gives free estimates, don't they? Some people charge. You know, uh, depending on you know where you have to go. Like sometimes when I have to go down into Central Jersey or out to Connecticut, I have a five hundred dollar uh, minimum fee that I charge for that. I give them some design sketches. I let them keep them. If they hire me, that five hundred dollars gets credited towards their project because uh, you know you have a couple hours of travel time, an hour or so with the people. Um, and they're the hounds. The hounds are who's Elizabeth? Is that when you're in there? Those are my dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. they, they, so, yeah. <laughs> so you know, so if you have to do some travel time, you know, we we you know, not that we don't mind tire kickers. People are always looking for information, but I usually direct them to the websites first and let them see and and understand what you know things cost before they before we go out and waste a lot of time because that's a four or five hour trip. By the time you're done turning around back and forth, so um, sometimes you can spend the entire day. And you're going to give them sketches. That's a whole different thing. Correct. Uh, that, you're that's actually just working for them. Right. Then that's you, for, that's correct, Elizabeth. That's for me. The other folks here, I don't know if you know how they would operate something like that. But on my end, but I mean, if you're going to drive out to a house and and explain to them what it is you're actually going to do, then that shouldn't Absolutely. cost them too much money. I mean, no, that's not at all. Thing. Listen, yeah. Ralph. Here's a question for you. Since we had Dave March, another BNI member, on the air last week. Um, if you have a solar system, uh, uh, solar panels on your house, the power goes out, the generator might kick on, might not. If it's during the daytime, the solar panels are on there. What is the uh, option there for how does that work? You know, when the power goes out, the solar takes over. Does it cut the solar a- a- off? Everything gets cut off and the generator kicks on. Do, do we know that answer? Well, um, <coughs> Anthony would probably be better uh, off uh, answering that question since he's the licensed electrician. Um, Okay, so Anthony, what do you think there? How does that how does that operation work for folks that are, have solar panels? Well, if they if they lose if they lose power, and their their solar panels are feeding back to the electrical grid, um, either way, the um, the ATS the automatic transfer switch is going to still recognize that the utility power is there, so. When the utility power goes out, the generator will come on. But there, there is a, um, a series of devices um, installed um, with a solar system that would uh, that, that works with that, so that there's yeah. no uh, backfeeding or anything where you no, can have some no, sort of electrical no, issue. There will be no backfeeding because the transfer switch automatically transfers the power over, and it will not transfer back until once e- either source is 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 complete. Okay. You know, like say the, the power. Question. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. Well, I, from what I understand, solar powers come a long way. So that the should be. Sun's been here for a long time, Elizabeth. <laughs> Plus, Andy exactly, cannot be liable for that last answer. He didn't design that system either. No. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anthony will give you a pass on the liability on that one. How's that? Great. You got we any forms to sign? <laughs> we also All do. Right, we also do emergency generators for areas where natural gra- gas is not available. Uh, and that in that particular case, we use um, a generator that's powered by number two fuel oil, and we put a day tank, a uh, two hundred seventy five gallon day tank, uh, and it gets connected to the generator uh, for areas that natural gas is not available. Because there are some areas in Rockland um, where you do have brownouts, and we don't have uh, natural gas. 
Well, wow, that's that's great info, Ralph. And why don't you, uh, since last week we told folks to change their uh, AC filters and heating unit filters because it's now t- AC season. Why don't yep. you tell them a little about what you do with the AC systems okay. and so forth? I have a I have a six point inspection uh, for one hundred nineteen dollars and fifty cents. We come in and there's a six uh, point inspection. We change your filter. We put the gauges on your freon lines. Check the pressures. Look at all the contacts, limit switches, and thermostats. Uh, if there's a minor t- adjustment, a minor tweak, it's all included in that price. Um, if it's short on Freon or if we feel the control is, is uh, looks worn out and should be replaced, then we replace it uh, at, a, at a nominal fee above the one the one nineteen fifty. It eliminates uh, an air conditioner breaking down on those ninety five percent humidity days, and um, yeah, it's 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 uh, you, you address it. it you're proactive on, uh, on preventive maintenance. It's like changing an oil in your car. You do it every three or 4,000 miles. You should tune up your air conditioning equipment before the season starts. And also, you should tune up your heating equipment uh, before your heating season starts to prevent those costly uh, breakdowns uh, during, the, uh, during the winter or summer months. Outstanding, Ralph. Give your number out again for those folks. My number is 845-548-3054. Uh, Sunshine Plumbing and Heating. We stock water heaters all sizes from 40-gallon to 75-gallon. And a normal response time was in three to four hours when we right. get the call. And listen, if you folks don't have your pens or you're driving, you're out in your yard doing some gardening or barbecuing, uh, go to our website, the ABC's of Home Improvement dot com, and you'll see um, Ralph's. Uh, you can plug onto Ralph's uh, website there and get all my, his information. My my website is uh, Sunshine Plumbing and Heating, uh, www dot Sunshine Plumbing Heating dot com. All right, um, Elizabeth. It's time again for that the mysterious cool tool segment of the week. Um, what do you have for us this week, Elizabeth? <laughs> well, I didn't know we were taking the week off. So, in in light of this, you know, organization cleanup May thing, I've been kind of going on this kick, you know, with the cigarette cases and all that. You know, getting yourself organized. Nice. So, forgive me for not. Well, Bill it. just slipped on his headphones. You better have something for us this week. He's I getting do. ready. No, 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 I do. <laughs> I have what I think I have a great thing. Uh, again, with organizing your toolbox, I like to be organized, but I'm not so you know I'm not so thrilling actually organizing yourself. That's a lot of work. So, if you go into any art supply store, and I'm not talking going down to Jersey Pearl Paint. I'm saying, like, you just walk into... Sometimes Staples has an art supply store section. And also Michael's, A.C. Moore. You'll find they have... Uh, well, I don't have to tell a friendly neighborhood architect, but you know those... They're sort of plastic. They're circles, cut, pre-cut circles. Yes. And they're marked with measurements. It's called a hole. Sometimes they're in... Mil- <laughs> yeah. Somebody say, hold on. Yes, They're marked in millimeters sometimes, but you can find them in inches. Throw one of these in your toolbox, and if you have, you know, stray drill bits, and you're not exactly sure how big it is, rather than trying to you see, I when I build, I build a lot. With Wait, dowels the bigger, the, than, so, so the bigger drill bits would get a different color or a different size, or no, what no, no, you just it's like you know how sometimes like when you, have you ever had a, a girlfriend who's like, are you ever going to ask me? All right, to marry Elizabeth, you? easy now. Here we go point. again. Easy with the girlfriends. There's a lot of women listening out there. Could be a boyfriend. Could <laughs> be a boyfriend, right? Okay, could be a boyfriend, and. It's got a bunch of different sizes. You can just slip the drill bit in. Ooh, nice. And you know exactly what size it is. Here we go again, Billy. It's a measurement thing, that's all. <laughs> it's a measurement thing and slipping it in. Billy's just, Billy can't even stand up anymore. All right, I, I don't know. know. I Elizabeth, love doing you, this to Billy. Uh, yeah, yeah, you I don't do. Even I think you practice this, Elizabeth. <laughs> I know. I, I love doing this to Billy. So how much but do these cost, these, these things that you were talking about? Just a dollar or two. They're very cheap. They're very cheap. So and what, they fit right into your toolbox. And then you never have to wonder what size your drill bit is if it's not already perfectly <laughs> in your little container. So because what, size so matters, Billy. Elizabeth, excuse me, but once again, you, you didn't prepare for the show. You, you brought nothing to the table here. And I did. I, I, did. I, 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 I enjoy it every <laughs> week. I think you bring more to the table than anybody else does here. I think it's outstanding. So do I, we have something we're going to put up on the website to show the folks what this is about again on your blog? I, do you, are you guys having trouble visualizing this or <laughs> i know it, billy definitely I is billy problem. billy's de- definitely having a rough time visualizing it he's he's kicking me here so um i oh, think i think billy. we need some i think we need something to put up but we'd visual, also like to visual. have it yeah visual you always like the visuals 
I got I something will, for I that. I will have a visual. Anthony's got something. Hold on, Anthony, go ahead. No, it's a, a, a drill bit wire gauge. Drill bit yeah. wire gauge. What is yeah. that now? Right. Well, that's what she's talking about. This is something about. that yeah. anybody can have. This is something that, oh. that you don't have to be Drill bit wire gauge. Have. Oh, very nice. So it determines the diameter of whatever you're putting into it. Exactly. Thank you for understanding me, Mike. Mike, no I know problem. Billy. J- Billy is just getting so nervous that I'm talking inches. Or, no, the problem, <laughs> Lizzie. I don't have. A I got a whole factory. I know what it looks like. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But this is for people who who are just ordinary people, not professionals. Although, call one when you need one. Don't ever attempt electrical work, and really try not to attempt plumbing on your own. But this is something anybody can throw into their toolbox and say, oh, shoot, I have a drill bit. How big is this? You know? So, because, you know, girls are usually pretty good at spot, you know, eyeballing measurements. Guys, not so much. No, no. Girls are very good at that. Especially when it comes to drill bit size. That's for sure. If that's your nickname for it, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie. Elizabeth, Thank you, you are fantastic. You know what? We missed you last week. I have to say, it was not as lively as it as it is today. As it could be. As and, it could be. And, you know, really Billy wasn't did. here either, so I'm just wondering: Were you guys rendezvousing out in California? I just, uh, you know, it's like he said he was at the shore. I, we yeah, believed he, said, he was on the he east said coast. The shore, right. <laughs> Billy's awfully cute. Like I said, he's invited. Oh, very he's nice. funny girl. anyway. Hey, you're funny. That's you're, good. Elizabeth, you know what I call that? That whole thing you just described? Uh-oh. Right, I'm going to give you about three seconds of time. <laughs> that took you like 10, 15 minutes of the show. We got guests here. Okay? I call that the ring theory. Ring? Oh, that's different yes. now. You're that's right. from a different perspective. Well, the diameter, the right inside the diameter of the ring. Ah, also, okay. you got your engagement ring, your marriage ring, and your suffering <laughs> Oh, the suffering. Ah. Oh, the suffering. That's uh, the nice. Pressure. And look the at pressure. him. And he's, he's in the mic, and then he's out of the mic. <laughs> Bill, that's he's, unbelievable. He's Billy, I'm not the Marion kind. See, Billy and I. I'm not the suffering kind. That's excellent. Excellent. Let's, let, us, let us get back now. That was great, Elizabeth. We want to get back to uh, Ralph and Anthony here. We've got to close off the show here, so we're going to give them a few minutes, and then I'm going to give you the answers to the questions of the week, and then we're going to tail off and go barbecue and have some beers. So uh, go ahead, Ralph. Give them a little bit about your... Uh, and some torn wine. And some Torn Valley Vineyard wine. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. Those guys are going to love that. Ralph, give us your information again uh, and, and your website. And, Anthony, same thing. Okay, it's Ralph Spano at Sunshine Plumbing and Heating. Uh, my website is www.sunshineplumbingandheating.com. My, our phone number is 845-548-3054. If you need a new heating system or your air conditioner needs to be updated, modified, or you're considering putting a new kitchen or bathroom in, you can call us for a free estimate. We'll very happily come out and take a look, help you with a little consultation, um, and show you a better way or um, give you some helpful hints. Excellent. Anthony, why don't you give us your information again and, and your company name and just way the folks have it? Hi, I'm Anthony Donadio with A. Donadio Electric. The phone number is 914, uh, well, it's my cell phone, 914-557-9058. And my office line is... 845-589-0019. We're licensed in Westchester, Connecticut, Rockland, and uh, New Jersey. And we do residential and commercial work. Excellent. We want to thank our guests here today. We're going to give you the answers now to the uh, questions of the week. Okay, what was the piece of clothing? What village was named after the piece of clothing? Of course, that was... Tuxedo Park. Tuxedo Park up there. Um, it's not a piece of clothing. That's a whole outfit. Oh, well, it's an ensemble, really. It is, uh, you know, <laughs> and, and I don't know if it comes with a, a peignoir or something. I don't know. It depends on who's wearing it. Um, and the village was uh, formed by a gentleman by the name of Pierre Lorillard in 1885. It became known as Tuxedo Park because of the attire that they wore from New York City uh, when they had their social functions there. So um, they had a high game fence around there, and the residents uh, came up, and they uh, made some houses and cottages, uh, and they hunted up there. The, the men dropped their wives off for the summers, went back to the city, and... I don't know, look for drill bit holders or something, I guess. I don't know <laughs> what they were doing down there. Um, the, then the, uh, the, they sold that off, and it became uh, a Tuxedo Park Club uh, when he died, and that's uh, still there today. And the architect, of course, was Bruce Price, uh, who designed and built the original clubhouse in 1886. Now, what's the next question? The first sewer district number one. Tuxedo Park. Okay, we have Tuxedo Park again with that one. I figured you folks would get that, um, but uh, oh, nobody's calling oh, in. You. 
See, and here's the last one. The electric company, California Electric Company, and Pia, and now called PG&E in San Francisco, Elizabeth, for you, was the first one ah. to use two Charles Brush electric uh, um, generators to create electricity in 1879, put it on the grid, and they were allowing folks to uh, light their, uh, I guess, their lights, their lamps uh, for $10 a week from sundown to, uh, to midnight only. Uh, then they extended it, and then they went to New York City, Boston, and Philly, and they put together, uh, by 1893, there were over 1,500 arc lamps illuminating New York streets. So um, coming from the West Coast to the East Coast, we have electric everywhere. Um, makes it for an electric uh, weekend. So I uh, want to thank our guests again. I want to give them one more chance to shout out their information since we have a minute or two left here. So you folks, uh, again, get your pens and pencils out and uh, give, us, uh, give us a call. The ABC is a home improvement next week. We're, uh, go ahead, Ralph. Okay, it's Ralph Spano, Sunshine Plumbing and Heating. Our phone number is 845-548-3054. Anthony? Call, oh, sorry, Ralph. You can call us for any plumbing or heating air conditioning needs. Anthony? I'm Anthony Donatio with A. Donatio Electric. The phone number is 845-589-0019. And our website will be adonatioelectric.com. Excellent. And you folks have a great Memorial Day out there. Elizabeth, Mike, uh, you know, Memorial Day is a federal holiday, but it was called Decoration Day back in its time in 1868. And that's when the folks from the American Civil War used to go out and uh, decorate the grave sites of their fallen soldiers. That's where it started. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, if you drive around uh, town, you'll see a lot of American flags and a lot of people going out to grave sites to decorate the fallen uh, people who allow us to sit here on this radio show. And, and, God bless all and, who and, and be a bunch of knuckleheads every once in a while. But, um, you know, yeah, God bless everybody that served and made the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice. And for thank them so much. And thank, thank you. you and thank their family. So everybody have a great Great Memorial Day weekend. Remember those who have fallen to allow us to uh, sit around and have our beers and, and be safe here in the United States. Great talking to everybody today. Look forward to seeing you next week. Ralph? Thanks a lot, Lee. All right. Anthony? Thank yes. Thanks for having me. Okay. Bill, you have anything last words? Um, no, not really other than Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack Flash sat on his candlestick because... Fire is the devil's only friend. Nice. All right. And with that, we're taking off, Neil. Thank you. Have a great weekend. <laughs>